हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमाइन एनालिसिस ऑफ कंट्रोल सिस्टम सो वी कैन डिफाइन फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमाइन एनालिसिस एज द स्टेडी स्टेट रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ द सिस्टम ड्यू टू साइनसॉइडल इनपुट व्हिच मींस इफ यू कंसीडर ए लीनियर सिस्टम फॉर दिस linear system if we apply a sinusoidal signal the steady state response of this linear system is frequency domain analysis now let us consider a linear system with sinusoidal input which is producing the steady state response which is also a sinusoidal output if we consider input as r of t with magnitude 1 and which is not having any phase difference here so this is the input so for this input we can represent as r of t is equal to sin of omega t plus 0 okay since we are not having any phase difference we will take this as 0 so this is the input that is applied to the linear system it will produce the output which is also a sinusoidal signal with amplitude a and a phase difference of phi so the output signal is represented as y of t is equal to a sin omega t plus phi so this is the steady state response of the linear system for a sinusoidal input so we can represent input as r of t is equal to sin of omega t plus 0 the output is steady state output of this system this output is sinusoidal with same frequency omega so the frequency will be same as the input signal but the output will be having different amplitude a right so in this example we have taken the output amplitude as a okay so output will be having a different phase phi right so output will be having a phase difference of phi right so we can represent output as y of t is equal to a sin omega t plus phi so always remember in frequency response both magnitude and phase will vary okay so if you consider the time response only magnitude was varying so in case of frequency response both magnitude as well as phase will vary if output phase angle is positive so if this output phase angle is positive which means we can say output is leading with respect to input so at that case phi is known as leading angle if output phase angle is negative which means this phi value is negative which means here the output will be lagging with respect to input so this phi is known as lagging angle so we are having leading angle and lagging angle so depending upon the nature of phase angle so in frequency domain analysis always remember we will replace s yes by j omega okay so we will replace this s yes by j omega in the transfer function then we will find the frequency response since frequency is variable here omega is varied from 0 to infinity okay so we'll vary this omega from 0 to infinity since frequency is the variable also remember to find the magnitude term if the term is in this form a plus j b so we can find the magnitude as square root of a square plus b square to find phase term if the term is in the form of a plus j b we can find the phase term as tan inverse of b by a okay so this is how you can find the magnitude term and phase term now let us understand the advantages and disadvantages of frequency domain analysis now first let us understand the advantages the frequency response tests are easy to perform so compared to other tests the frequency response tests are easy to perform the transfer function can be obtained by the frequency response of the system so here what we will do we will first find the frequency response of the system from this frequency response we can find the transfer function of the system the frequency domain analysis is used to find the absolute and relative stability of the system so using frequency domain we can find both absolute and relative stability of the system the apparatus required for obtaining the frequency response is simple and easy to use so compared to other type of test the apparatus which we use to obtain the frequency response is simple and easy to use 
Without the knowledge of transfer function, the frequency response of stable open loop system can be obtained experimentally. Okay, so even though we are not having any knowledge of the transfer function of the system, the frequency response of stable open loop system can be obtained experimentally. Okay, so we we can obtain the frequency response practically. Okay, experimentally we can obtain the frequency response of the system from that frequency response we can find the transfer function of the system now let us understand the disadvantages of frequency domain analysis obtaining frequency response practically is time consuming okay so if we obtain the frequency response practically or experimentally so it is very much time consuming these methods are applicable to linear systems only okay so these methods are restricted to only linear systems we can use frequency domain analysis only for the system which are linear for high time constant the method is not convenient so which means if the time constant is very high if the time is very high so at that case this method is not convenient to use this method is considered as old and outdated when compared with the methods that are developed for digital computer simulation and modeling okay so there are other methods that are developed for uh, digital computer simulation and modeling so if we compare frequency domain analysis practically with these methods which are used for digital computer simulation and modeling so the frequency domain analysis is considered as old and outdated okay this is about the introduction to frequency domain analysis advantages and disadvantages of frequency domain analysis Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.